Lesson 3.6a, this is the Getting Ready section, Estimation Strategies, Compatible Numbers. In this Getting Ready lesson, we're going to learn how to use mental math and estimation to assess the reasonableness of calculations. We'll use estimation techniques, such as rounding and compatible numbers, strategically so we can use mental math to assess whether an answer is reasonable. We can use rounding and compatible numbers to help us estimate. Here we have 9 twentieths times 49. So we think 9 is close to 10. So we can round 9 twentieths to 10 twentieths, which is 1 half. 49 is close to 50, and 1 half and 50 are compatible. Now we think, what's 1 half times 50? What is half of 50? Well, half of 50 would be 25. We can say 9 twentieths times 49 is approximately 25. We use an approximation symbol because this is an estimate. 9 twentieths times 49 was rounded up to 10 twentieths times 50. So this is an overestimate. 9 twentieths times 49 is approximately 25 is an overestimate. Front end estimation is the same as front end rounding. We can estimate a sum using the front end and adjust strategy. Here we have $2.21 plus $5.96 plus $1.73. We perform the operation by rounding each number to its front end value. This will be $2, that'll be $5, that will be $1. We have $8. We add the front end digits. Now we group the cents amounts into dollars to adjust our estimate. We see we have a 21 and a 73. We can group them together to be approximately a dollar, and 96 cents is approximately a dollar. That means we have 8 plus 1 plus 1, it's a $10. So the sum is approximately $10. We estimated the sum to be $10. We grouped 21 cents and 73 cents to be about a dollar, which is greater than their actual sum. We estimated 96 cents to be about $1, which is greater than its actual value. We know $10 is an overestimate because we rounded up to $1. Each group of cents is actually less than $1. Here we have 34 divided by 8. We think, well, 8 times 4 is 32. That's pretty close. We can use our knowledge of factors to choose numbers near the original values. We can say 34 divided by 8 is approximately 4. This is an underestimate because 32 is less than 34. Here we have 342 divided by 81. We can think of this one. We think 320 divided by 80, that would be 4. And then we think, well, 32 divided by 8, using our knowledge of basic factors, we can say it's approximately 4. And this is an underestimate because 320 is less than 342 and 80 is less than 81. Here we have $13 minus $6.09. We subtract the front end digits. We have 13 minus 6. Well, that would be 7. And the cents are close in value. This is just 9 cents compared to 0 cents. The difference is approximately $7. And this is an underestimate because we didn't estimate or subtract the nine cents. Here we have $13 minus $6.09. We subtract the front end digits. We have 13 minus 6. And the cents are close in value. This is only nine cents. And the difference is approximately $7. This is an overestimate because we didn't estimate or subtract the nine cents. If we did the actual subtraction to find the actual difference, we'd get $6.91. So our estimate of $7 is an overestimate. 
Here we have a word problem. Dave earns a salary of $61,000 per year. He pays an income tax rate of 21%. We can use mental math to find an underestimate of his daily income after taxes. We write 21% as a decimal as 0 0.21. We need to multiply it by 61,000. We need to find 21% of 61,000. If you've been following me for a few years, you know that we can think of the word of as symbol. So we're doing 21% times 61,000. So we can use compatible numbers to estimate. Instead of 21, we'll use a 20 here. Instead of 61, we'll use 60. That gives us 0 0.20 times 60,000. We do the multiplication, and we get approximately $12,000, which would be the tax amount he paid. Now, we need to subtract that tax amount. So we take our 60000 our estimate. We subtract 12000 and that's equal to 48000 Now, we're trying to find his daily income offer uh, after taxes, so we need to take this 48000 and we need to divide it by 365 days in a year. Instead of doing the 365, we can round this to 400 and say 48,000 divided by 400. And we can think, well, what's 48 divided by 4? We have a 48 and a 4 here. Well, that would be 12. And because this only has two zeros, that has three zeros, we're going to have to put a zero on the back of our 12. We're going to get $120 per day. We can do it with mental math. Since 20% is less than 21% and 60,000 is less than 61,000, the $120 per day that we estimated is an underestimate of the actual amount he earned.